With the release of Design Center 3.9, there are a couple of new features within the Equinox interface that will allow for us to have better control of who can access an Equinox touchscreen on the wall. So here I have an EQ73, and in this project I have a couple of rooms. I've got room A and room B. I have this Equinox 73 in room A, and selected to come up on that room, and then in room B I would have another Equinox in there. And typically the idea is that we want to be able to uh, get it to where we have guest level, non administrator, non-manager level access to this so he can do certain things and certain things he cannot do. So he has full access here and he actually initially can even go to the other room. Now this could be a problem because if I am in room A and I have the ability to go and turn lights on and off in room B, I could be causing somebody some problems. So I don't want to be able to do that, so the feature that is new here is the ability to be able to lock that out so he cannot change rooms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change to the administrator profile, and now I'm going to go into settings. I'm going to go into access and permissions, and I'm going to select that user, which is my guest level, and there is a new permission. So if we go into permissions, there is this new change active area permission. If I take that away, then that user can no longer change. So now if I go into user, so that's the current profile now, and I go and try to change, it asks me for authentication. If I don't have that, there's no way I can change the room. Now one caveat, something to train the owner on is what if I, as an administrator, am doing something around and I leave this in a room that isn't the room that the touchscreen is in, and then I forget, and I just go and assign this now to the user. Well, without him having permissions, he's stuck in the wrong room. Of course, that's even more problematic before. Not only does he have access to a room that he's not in, but he has no control of the room that he is in. So just a little caveat, make sure that they're aware that uh, when they do that, to make sure that they're in the right room. Let me go... Now, say somebody's reported that to me, I'm a manager, I'm going to sign in, I'm going to change it to the right room, and then I'm going to go back to the guest profile. And now he's in the right room and has no access to the other rooms. Okay, so that's the first feature. The second feature has to do with the screen lockout. You may have noticed, actually, as we go into the profiles, this new lock screen option. Now, a user will never have the option to be able to do that. He'll never have the rights. A manager can be given the rights selectively. The administrator will always have that option. So user here right now I, uh, is the active profile. If tries to lock screen, can't do it unless you have some sort of uh, privileges. So let's go ahead and uh, enter in our credentials in order to lock the screen. Now the screen is locked in order now to unlock it. I also again need to be able to authenticate. Okay, so I have unlocked it now because I had manager uh, credentials, but doing so doesn't necessarily mean that I am now the active profile. The active profile is the same one that was active prior to the screen lock and doesn't change just because I'm logging in. So that's typically actually the way we want to do it. However, uh, there is one other way of doing this. If we go into settings, now I'm not going to be able to do anything here because I'm in the user profile. But if I go into screen lock, I can see that there's a lock now option. There's also a, a set timeout option. I can't do either of these here because I don't have author authority to do that. So let's go back out and let's log in as the manager. And now that we're logged in as manager, we'll go back into there, we'll go into the screen lock. And of course, we can do the lock now, no different than what we did from within the profiles. But now if we want to, basically here, we can set, we can enable or disable 
a screen lockout. The idea here is that if somebody's given permission to use the EQ73 or a 41 in a room, they can have that touch screen for a certain amount of time. Once they leave it alone, uh, it's going to start a timer. And that lockout time is what we're going to determine how long it takes for that timer to reach before this thing locks out. So say we went in and, and set that to 30 minutes and zero seconds, then we leave that. So no matter who's using this, as soon as they're done uh, using it, it will start the timer. If the timer goes for the duration of 30 minutes, in this case, this will lock out. And then somebody with credentials will have to unlock it again. One thing that I do want to mention about this feature, the lockout, is consider that uh, somebody does potentially lock this out. So the admin does. And so what if this were the only control point in the room? I've got to be able to turn lights on, turn lights off, right? But I can't do this if I don't have the ability to log in. How do I turn lights on and off? So just be aware that this bottom right button, whether we're locked or unlocked, the bottom right button will work. And that typically is just doing exactly the same thing as that preset toggle is doing. So if we go back in and see this preset toggle, see I'm operating it from here as well as if I operated it from here. So we do give them the ability to turn lights on and off without the ability to go into any detail. Now, um, you notice that I have a room preset set up here. Just a reminder, um, by default, all the lights are going to go full on, but we have the ability, if uh, we have rights to do so, to edit the room's preset. And that's actually what I've done in this case. So I went in and I set, instead of all six of those coming on to the default 100%, I have five of the six coming on to 50%. So that's what my preset is. Just a reminder that this is a capability that they have. And so notice whether I turn these on or I use it up there, I've got the three indicating it's not quite to half. Uh, that's because only five of the six are at 50%. So anyway, unless we really, really want to lock this out, that's what will work. If you really, really want to lock it out, you can create a task, assign it to the hard button within the object editor of the Equinox 73 within Design Center. Just put in a blank task and reload the file. And then this now will do nothing, even if we really have to do that. So those are the two features uh, that are allowing us to have better control of who has access to the controls provided uh, on the touchscreens, the EQ73 and the 41.